Welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a look at um, the difference between heart and reading the raw milliamp value from a Siemens radar device. So what you can see in front of you is I've got a program already up and running. I, I covered this in a previous blog and I have a radar set up 0 to uh, 10 meters uh, on my scaling. I've put the units into mil so we can see the millimeters difference and what I'm going to do to start off with is um, look at something that I call points of contamination. So at the moment everything is, is scaled correctly. Um, I'm connecting with the Bluetooth app and what I'm going to do um, first of all is go into my setup and just purely change the units. Now, this is not a, a big issue as far as the device is concerned because it changes everything to, to where it should be. So we can see here now over heart straight away I, I'm, I'm in meters. Okay, And there we have my um, milliamp value. Uh, I'd have to change my my PLC code to get that to, to represent the, the same thing. Well, that's not, you know, a massive issue. But if I was reading volume, um, then I could start to have problems. Now, I'm just going to put this into feet to save me doing too much programming. And straight away, if I put it in feet, now I have got a problem. Um, if I was to look at my device and my PLC, the units are, are completely wrong. So I'm going to put this back into uh, millimeters. And then I'm going to do something a little bit more uh, drastic that could cause a spill or could cause you to, to run out of products. And a lot of times with, with level products, you know, we, we, we need to give them every little bit of help to, to, to work on a tricky application. Um, we might have to, we might have a, a filling pipe um, coming out and the, the water is, is pouring in front of the transducer. Well, we can blank that out and, and that's what an instrumentation engineer will do. They'll come along and they'll say, right, okay, I'm not interested in where that filling point is because my vessel doesn't fill up to that, past that level anyway. So they put a near blanking in and they'll put 500 mil near blanking in to help the radar. And so what you can see is the milliamp value has changed because we've changed the scaling on the instrument, but the heart value is unaffected by scaling parameters programmed in the device. The heart value is the raw digital value from the instrument. So we don't get the points of contamination. So I'm gonna put this back to zero. So my, my two units are the same. And then we're going to start looking at the error. So what I have here is my millimetres difference. I have my heart value and I have my milliamp value. Now, the, the, the level itself is dead steady, which you can see from the heart value. Um, I could put smoothing on the milliamps, um, but I've still got the error. I've got 10 mil error. Uh, I've only, I'm, I'm only about four meters away, as you can see from the echo profile. So the argument is you, you, you have some applications where people are asking you, oh, I need a two mil accurate radar, I need a three mil, I need a one mil accurate radar, give it to me, give it to me, I need, I need the best accurate radar. And then they put it into a PLC milliamp input card and all of that accuracy is completely eroded with the milliamp input card where if we look at the digital value, the digital value is the accuracy that you've asked for, the two mil, the one mil accuracy, that's what you get. Um, strangely, this accuracy seems to be a fixed percent. Um, of course, if I now move that relatively close, we have to give this time to, to, to settle. So this is now only about 400 mil away. So I have less than one mil uncertainty. So it's not a linear uncertainty on, on the card, which is 
I wasn't expecting because we'd linearized it with the norm block. But um, if we now have a look at something about a meter away, just so you can see something in between. So something about a meter away, which could quite easily be an open channel uh, M certs application here in the UK, where, where we're after that two mil accuracy. Well, we've just drifted outside of that. So really, um, if you want the accuracy, you should be looking at the digital value. And, and what we've got to take into account here, this, this milliamp input card is not a cheap milliamp input card. It's not an 8-bit milliamp input card. This is, uh, I think it's 32-bit. So this is a relatively accurate milliamp input card. So if we went down to an 8-bit milliamp input card, this would be even worse. So um, it's something for you to think about. Uh, we do have the problem with the response time, which is what we're going to look at next to see, uh, you know, really, is it that bad? In, in my opinion, I don't think it is. So we'll, we'll have a look and, and log that with the logger feature on TIA portal. So I have my trend set up. My, my radar is um, looking at the target about four and a half meters away. And what I'm going to do now is start that recording, just so you can see what we've got on the on the trend. The the top um, trend here in red is my milliamp value. Then I have my heart value, and I've just put the difference between the two um, here at the bottom as well. So I'm going to start that recording. Okay. And it's auto scaling, so it looks a little bit messy to start off with. So I'll move it to the 400 mil value. So the radar has got no filtering on it. So the radar is reacting as quick as it can. And we can see there that the, the milliamps value is quicker. But by the time it's actually settled, if you look here, to the to 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 get the its best uncertainty value, it's they're pretty similar. So we'll, we'll zoom in and have a look at what the actual time is for that. So now if I go to my one meter value, and yeah, it, it's pretty consistent. And then if we go back to our four meter value, so there we have our results, so I'll stop that. You're going to zoom in. So we can see the difference in, in time. So I can see my, my scale down here is in seconds. So my milliamp value changed on uh, 8.55 and then 9.2 seconds uh, behind that was the heart value. So just under a second um, update time. Okay, This is a four channel card that is scanning so it's not the quickest update time on, time on heart. So there are uh, other devices where if you just read in one heart value back, it can be quite quick. But we can see here um, uh, it's less than a second update time. So there we have it. The difference between heart and milliamps as per usual. I'll let you make your own mind up, but thank you very much for listening. There's the evidence for you, um, and I hope it was useful. Uh, could it be a game changer? Only time will tell. Thanks for listening and please stay tuned to future blogs. Cheers.